this video was going to go a completely different way when I started it and when I read a comment from someone saying, Oi, what about sheet metal gussets? And I was like, sheet metal what it's you say? So I googled it and apparently they're, they're, they're a thing. And I was like, hmm, not being a sheet metal guy, I was like, right, okay, I see lots of CAD models. Let's give this a go. Turns out they're all SolidWorks. <laughs> the inventor just can't do this at all. So uh, what, what's, what's the basis of this video then? How are we going to do it? Well, we're going to fudge it, mate. That's what we do best around here. We're going to fudge this in Inventor uh, and then and just be embarrassed as, as we go. So we're going to go into Inventor 2018. We're going to start a new sheet metal part. And we're going to model up a sheet metal gusset that looks a little something like this. So, can't, yeah, we can't do this in Inventor. It doesn't have a command uh, like SolidWorks does for just dropping one of these on and having it boom emboss through the metal and do your bit, fill it and whatnot. We can't do this. We're going to have to do this manually, which is embarrassing. But, yeah, you know, you might learn something as you go and you might see something that you go, oh, I can use that somewhere else. You never know, you never know. As I'm not pretending like this is a good thing. Everything I'm about to do here is bad practice. After we finish this, you ain't even going to be able to flatten the, the metal. <laughs> no DXFs coming out of this sunshine. It ain't happening. So let's go into the sheet metal defaults, make sure we're working with some uh, some real metals. Uh, shall we make this aluminium? Yeah, why not? No 0.5 thick, why not? Why the devil not? And let's drop a sketch on XY and we'll just knock up something simple. I ain't gonna get too creative with this. We'll go 50 by 50 uh, and then we'll we'll smash a face on this of uh, 0.5 obvs and then we'll flange that for the ladies up there by 25. Reet. So, yeah. No, no gusset command in Autodesk Inventor. There isn't even anything close to it. Possibly if you got really, really into it, you could maybe do something with a punch tool. But uh, to be honest, by the time you figured it out, you could probably just manually do this. So the way I'm going to do this is not really, it's not really brilliant, but let's, let's, let's have a crack, right? So we're going to do a work plane and we're going to do a gusset sort of in the middle, right? It's, it's essentially a rib. That's what it is. It's a rib. It's a strengthening rib in the metal. But the difficult part with Inventor is this back end. It's the hollowed out bit of metal. That's the difficult bit. So we're going to have to use uh, multiple features here. Uh, Long-winded. I ain't pretending it's not. It is. But it might introduce you to a few new things that you otherwise didn't know were there. So let's uh, let's sketch on this work plane, right? And then we're going to do the we're going to do the gusset line. So that's going to go across here, right? I'll do. Now, in, in the real world, you know, I'm sure you'd you'd get your calculator out and you'll work out how long and in, in in what position that's got to, to be at. And in this, I'm not going to. We're just doing it randomly, something like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hop out of sheet metal. We're going to go to 3D model on the ribbon, and then we're going to go to rib. Right, that'll automatically select the line because it's the only thing there to be picked. And we're going to go for this button here, right, parallel to sketch plane. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a rib parallel to the sketch plane, which is this work plane here. So it's going to extrude out from the line that way and then that way, like a strengthening rib of this thickness. So we'll make that five. And then the the way the rib command works, I ain't done a video on that yet on the channel because it, it's, I mean, what do you do? Do you do a video on every command? I mean, where do you stop? There's loads of them. But it takes that line, extrudes it out, and then down, and it sort of fills around the profile of the model. You see what I mean? So it doesn't go any further. It sort of stops when it hits metal. And then we can just OK on that. And then you've got your, you've got your bit rib there. Nice, nice rib. Now let's turn this work plane off because it's hideous. OK, right, looking at these goussettes, right? They've got this kind of fillet thing going on on top of them, like a rounded fillet, across, like, a, like, a, like a bar, like a, like a thing, dome thing on the top. I'm sure it's got a word. Uh, but we, we can do that, we can do that, we can go fillet, we can do a full round fillet, pick the side face, center face, side face, and then it'll round it off. Nice! Nice! If you, if, you, if you didn't know you could do that, that's not unique to this. You can use that for anything, really. Uh, right then, so the, the, the difficult bit is indeed the back end. It's getting it hollowed out on the, on the back end, which is... Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Let's uh, let's have a crack at uh, which way should we do this? We'll do uh, we'll do a ruled surface. We'll do a ruled surface, and we'll pick this profile here. So what a ruled surface does is it takes an, an edge or a uh, yeah mostly an edge, the edge of a of a feature, so that looped edge around there, and it projects a surface out from the edge. So we're using this option here, which is called normal. Um, it doesn't matter what the distance is as long as it's not poking out too far, it doesn't really matter. But it projects a surface out from that edge 
uh, all the way around the the kind of contour following the normal of that edge uh, and you might be thinking where where are you going with this you silly Englishman well it'll it'll work in the end it will he says with uh, with, a, with a mild degree of certainty right once that's done I'm then going to use split and I'm going to use that as the split tool and we're going to split that face that face and that face right and that gives us a face there there and there so I'm, I need to delete these faces right however however you might be thinking well I can do that we've got delete face there just click delete 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 but no no that's not going to work because what that does is it leaves an opening in in there which you could then maybe heal up patch up but that's just smacks of effort man we're not doing that what we're going to do is we're going to use shell and this, this 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 isn't when sheet metal falls apart I mean sheet metal fell apart as soon as you put the rib on you weren't you weren't able to flatten it when you put the rib on so the fact that we're shelling it is massively bad practice in sheet metal <laughs> but it's not going to work anyway so it don't matter it don't matter so we're going to shell it out by 0.5 because that is the metal thickness right so that's going to give us a wall thickness inside here of 0 0.5 but whilst it's doing that right you need to make sure automatic face chain is unticked and then we're going to remove that face that face and then that face and that gives us that gives us this Hey, it's kind of it's kind of looks kind of looks good that doesn't it so that, that's give us the effect and then just looking back on the imagery we've got this sort of fillet running all the way around which is pretty easy to apply then we'll just go back to uh, let's turn off this rule surface is getting them away go back to fillet and then edge selection we're going to pick that edge and then we're going to fill it this by what a mil there we are look at that boom and then there you go there's your there's your gusset done i mean you could then fill it i guess that edge as well uh by a mill kind of in a similar light and there's your sheet metal gusset kind of done and not it, it like i said it, it ain't perfect if we hop back over into sheet metal and then try and flatten it it's just i mean i wasn't expecting that <laughs> absolutely no idea what that is what the hell is that it looks like a futuristic watering can <laughs> watering the plants <laughs> watering the plants what the hell is this shit <laughs> uh, I, I don't I, I've just got I've got nothing right back to the folded model uh, it's a mystery where that came from I mean it's I don't know I, I don't know but there you go, there's your sheet metal gusset, that's how you do it. But it's all adaptive, I mean, you can go back into your folded model, you can go back to the rib sketch, and then this this might fail, this might fail, because we've got a lot of features hing hinging, hinging off of this, but if we pull that up, that should increase the rib, and then, oh, oh hey, it did work. So the ruled surface moved with it, the fillets moved with it, and uh, yeah, it still works, it still works. There's your sheet metal gusset. But there you go, that's that's how you do a, a sheet metal gusset in Autodesk Inventor, embarrassingly so at this point, it's uh, it's not great. Autodesk, come on, Solidworks can do this, and I'm, I, I've seen a video from Solidworks 2014, they've been able to do this since then, so it's, uh, Solidworks, lots sitting back going, this is what you lot have got to deal with, yeah, yeah, well, you know, we've got, you know what, what have we got, what have we got that you haven't? Uh, proceeds to, uh, to 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 have a, a complete brain fart. I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much. That'll do it for this one. Uh, if you like TFI, uh, thank you very much to everyone that has uh, supported me on Patreon. Link is in the description in the post roll video, and also everyone that's headed over to Plural Site to sign up for a free trial. That's also helped me out massively, massively. And thank you very much for those lot as well. I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.